guys so i have completed an eight week ceramics course um and i filmed sort of the journey of most of the lessons not every single lesson um a lot of them were quite repetitive and we were just practicing but i've recorded basically learning hand building wheel throwing trimming glazing decorating things like that um which i'm basically going to show you in this video so i'm just going to take you through a voiceover of all the clips i have over the eight weeks of doing things and explaining what's happening there's a few things i forgot to film uh which is kind of annoying but it'll give you a really good idea about what this course was so i did this course at turning earth um in the uk and they were great honestly it was such a good course um and now I'm sort of starting my journey of doing pottery at home. So this is something I have just painted, um, ready for the bisque firing. Um, so I've started doing similar things like that within the course. So you'll see that entire journey. And then at the end, I'll show you all of the finished pieces out of the kiln as well. So it will be a full start to finish ceramics process. Now over to voiceover Ella. So our first week was just learning, hand building, getting used to the tools and everything. Here's me and dad getting ready to get stuck in. So we didn't do a lot this week. It was just a couple of pieces here and there. So you can see I made this little frog bowl and then I started making a little duck mug. But that was it for the first lesson. We're on our way to day two of ceramics and we've bought a lot more like tools and stuff that we need because um, we realized that we needed quite a lot of things last time um, that weren't given to us so we bought more things and we're ready in the second week i added a couple of details onto the duck and did a bit of detailing then we started to paint a couple of our pieces with, um, this was slip glaze, which I've never heard of before, but it was cool stuff. Very pigmented. Here's dad brushing it onto his very cute sun spiral plate. And then this is my little duck guy with some colour on. He's holding a little pocky stick. Um, yeah. And then here are our pieces ready to dry out and then they can be bisque fired oh here's another random clip of dad painting one of his plates he went a little bit crazy on this one i'm gonna lie and then these are them out of the bisque okay that was fast then we went into our next lesson which was number three and this was wheel throwing and this was my first time throwing on the wheel as well as dad's um so you can see here, me here struggling to center the clay that was the hardest bit centering the clay and then pulling up the walls was really really difficult but we we made a few cool pieces by the end of it i think i do prefer hand building though i also didn't realize the angle on this was way off so here are a couple of pieces that I threw, a little bit wonky, that I can fix up later, it's fine, but they were thrown. This one was my favourite, so cute. So then we started trimming the week afterwards, um, and that's when the clay is sort of leather hard, not super soft, and you can start to detail, make it smooth, um, and add in any sort of things that you want. I'm adding a foot rim to the end of this little cup that I did. Trimming's my favourite part, even though I don't like the throwing. So you can see here uh, it's trimmed and then I added some little details on to make a little pig and then I painted a little bit of detail onto there and then I was going to glaze this fully in pink at the end so it's like a little piggy. There he is on the shelf of doom. 
by the end of this lesson we had thrown and trimmed quite a lot of pieces um, I'm just going to show you a little bit more of the trimming process Dad's bowl looks incredibly good I'm very jealous So these are a couple of pieces that I threw as well That one was hand built that one was thrown and very wonky. I didn't like that clay, it had so many stones in it. And then this was a big, big hand built boy, which I was going to attach these on as handles. Then we started adding details onto our pieces. This one is going to be a capybara mug. Um, oh no, this one's the raccoon mug. You'll see that in a second. So I added the details on, and then I painted with the slip glaze. Look how cute he is! And then I painted my little kitty cat. The end does not look like this, by the way, after I glazed it. And then I painted my little frog in his little spaceship mug as well. So then everything got bisked, and you can see we lost a few pieces. My pig and the astronaut frog got broken which is really upsetting, but it is what it is, it's pottery. And then I forgot to film the glazing process, but here's everything that we glazed and dipped. Um, we had a lot of stuff, so yeah, uh, yeah. So I have just got back from picking up um, my finished ceramic pieces from the course, and I'm really excited. Um, a few of them didn't come out as good as I wanted them to, but, so I'll show you those first. I'll show you the disappointing ones first. So this little guy here, uh, my colleague said he looks like a platypus. It was supposed to be a duck and the colours just didn't come out very well. This was the first thing I made, like ever, ceramics. So I still really like him. He's still super cute. That just didn't come out how I wanted them to. The second thing I ever made was this little frog pot. I should have painted a face and stuff on it, but oh well. Um, I still like him. He's pretty cute. Um, I'll probably use him for painting and putting water in. And then the third disappointing, I guess, one was this. Plate. I want to do like a trinket dish with a little duck in the middle of it and it just doesn't look good. You see, I'm not a fan, but it exists. There we go. But then I tried some wheel throwing. Um, as you saw, I made this little cup here um, on the wheel. It's very lopsided, not the neatest thing I've ever done, but I actually really like it. The like bump in the middle here sits in your hand really nicely. I think this will be too thin to have hot drinks in it, but I'm going to do a hot drinks test. But yeah, that guy. Then I was wheel throwing and I had this one made and then I was trying to like pull this one off the wheel onto the same slab of wood and then I dropped it so that's why they are like indented but I actually really like the look of that I think it looks really cool and I love the glaze on this it's like a mustard glaze um, and I think they're a really nice set of pots for something um, I then made this cute little guy He's going to be a little chopstick holder. Look at him. So cute. I'm very happy with this. He's very tiny. Then I did a hand built mug where I painted it. Um, this one came out quite smooth. It's really heavy. This one I think you could put hot drinks in it and it would be fine. Um, but that's the little cat painting. This one, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that when I'd made it and then that it got damaged in the bisque firing, 
um, the handle got snapped off. Well, one of the two. Thankfully, I had a second handle on it. Um, but this is my frog in space in a spaceship mug and it came out a bit not as bright as I wanted it to but that's fine you can see the damage there nice little foot Easy. this is heavy but actually kind of sits in your hand really well and you still can hold it fine as a mug like that but yeah and then my final two okay so these are both wheel thrown um at first i have this little raccoon guy i'm so pleased with this guy his eyes got a bit lost you can see him a little bit but yeah they got a little bit lost um in the glazing but that's fine look how neat this guy is <sighs> he's so cute so he doesn't have a handle, so I need to do a hot drinks test with him as well. And then I did another mug with a handle, which is this little, it's supposed to be a capybara. It doesn't really look like a capybara, but he's got a handle. This one was also wheel thrown. Oh, and I put the handle like too low, so I had to rub off loads of glaze so that it wouldn't stick to the kiln shelf, which is really disappointing because I, I don't like the look of that. But this one also fits in your hand really well for drinking wrong side unless you're looking at it um but yeah those are my finished pieces oh my god i'm really happy with them um and i'm really proud of myself for doing it and getting all this stuff done i have bought some supplies to do some hand building and making mugs at home so i am going to do videos on that going forward as well um, a couple of process videos i might do a few like full process videos so from all the way start to end but i think a couple of mugs and stuff will be featured in my videos and then once i get slightly better i might start selling them and doing commissions as well as my polymer clay but yeah i hope you liked what i made and i hope you enjoyed this little very short journey of my eight week course doing ceramics let me know what your favorite piece i think mine is definitely this one in terms of overall functionality but something about this one just really does it for me love it and i will see you in the next video Bye guys. So today I am testing this mug and I've noticed a problem that I didn't quite think of is because they're both concave, it's very hard to drink from. You really do need like a tall, like a straight edge to drink out of like that, as opposed to something that's like bending inwards. It's quite difficult but yeah because it's concave it's not really hard to drink from it's not hard but it's not good you know okay i'm gonna heat test two mugs this one i'm just gonna put because this is thicker i'm just gonna put um boiling water in and then this one is thinner uh by actually one cup of tea so i'm going to see how much tea it makes this is mildly terrifying I mostly want to test how hot they are to like hold. This one feels okay so far. <laughs> this one's very hot already. Okay. Okay, so this one, it's hot, but not hotter, I've spilled everything everywhere, not hotter than like a normal mug. Oh, okay, actually, once I've added in milk, oh, you can hold that, that is fine. It's got a very small opening at the top here. But that, you can hold, okay. Let's do a little...
because it's concave, it's terrible to drink from, but completely holdable. Oh, and the nose gives you a nice little, hmm, lovely.